Y'all, what is going on everybody? It's the hand for game. Hope you're fantastic day. Welcome back to one of the Madden video. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys two really good coin making methods you guys should check up on every once in a while. Now these methods don't always work. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to check if the method works or not. And if it does work, you guys can gain upwards of 50 to 70 thousand coins. So if it does work, you guys can make a lot of coins. Now this method can sometimes be risky, but sometimes it can be no risk. It just varies a lot. Also be sure to do your rookie premieres if you guys haven't done them already rookie premieres do expire on monday so make sure you guys get all your rookie premiere sets done but please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever i upload because i do upload a coin making method video every single day at least i try to also please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on youtube and also, I'm currently giving away this 99 overall Walter Payton. So how this giveaway is going to work is whenever we reach 1,750 subscribers, I will be putting them on the trade block for four days. And then once three days have passed, I will be choosing a random trade offer. So right now, there's nobody to enter the giveaway. But I'll give you guys more info when we reach 1,750 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for the support. These giveaways are just a way to say thank you guys for the support. And these are his stats. Probably one of the best running backs besides a golden ticket obviously so if i can't i'm gonna try to save up for golden ticket bow jackson but if i can't i'm gonna try to get this 99 overall walter payton because he is a beast of a card almost every stat 99 only bad things are his catching which you know 80 is still pretty good for a running back so he's probably one of the best if not the best running back that's not a golden ticket so good luck on the giveaway and shout out to Nikki Blicky for being part of the Naughty Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you guys have to do is subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. And comment Naughty Gang within the first two minutes of a new upload. And you guys also have to like that video. And I'll pick somebody random to shout that does all of that. So shout out to Nikki Blicky for being part of the Naughty Gang. So the first method we'll be talking about will be this 95 overall Ghost of Man Pass player set. So you guys need 3 93 overalls in order to complete this set. So there are two ways to complete the set. The first way is by simply buying the 3 93 overalls in order to complete the set. And the second way is by doing a whole nother set to complete the set. So we're actually not going to be doing it the first way. We're going to be talking about it the second way. So the second way is by either, either completing the Nick Bosa set or the Terry McLaurin set. You guys can do both. Nick Bosa set usually works better than the Terry McLaurin set but you guys always want to check both sets. So how to check if this method works or not is you guys either choose Terry McLaurin or Nick Bosa. We're going to choose Terry McLaurin first and then we'll do Nick Bosa. So you guys want to add up all the set pieces to the set. So 35,000. Brian Burns goes for about 21,000. So that's about 56,000. And Devin Bush goes for about 24,000. So that's about 80,000 coins. So you guys want to keep that number in your head so 80,000 coins. All right, so once you guys have figured out how much a set costs, then you guys want to see how much the player costs. So Terry McLaurin, since we're doing the Terry McLaurin set, then we're gonna check Terry McLaurin. So Terry McLaurin goes for about 35,000 coins. Now you guys want to do some subtraction. So it costs 80,000 coins to do the set and Terry McLaurin goes for 35,000 coins. So 80,000 minus 35,000, that is about 45,000. Now, once you guys do the subtraction, whatever number you guys come up with, that's your difference. So once we did the subtraction, the final number is 45,000 coins. So the difference is how much you guys are paying for the 95 overall Ghost of Man Pass player set. So now you guys want to look, is the number that you, know, you came up with, so in this case, it's 45,000, is 45,000 coins worth Worth it to pay so if i pay forty-five thousand coins for this pack i could potentially lose twenty thousand coins or i can gain upwards of thirty thousand coins so i don't think i'm willing to risk twenty thousand coins if the difference is over forty thousand coins i don't recommend you guys do it so since the difference is forty five thousand coins i'm not going to do it because i could lose twenty thousand coins and i don't feel like taking that kind of risk but you guys can if you guys want to because you guys could pull like bo jackson or John Randall, but I don't want to take a 20,000 coin risk. So once, so that's your decision at the end. Once you guys have found a difference, that's your decision whether you guys want to take a risk or not. Sometimes there is no risk whatsoever. Like if the difference was only 20,000, that means there's no risk. So that's why sometimes this method is really good and sometimes this method is really bad. So we are not gonna be doing the Terra McClone set. So now we are going to check Nick Bosa. So same step, you guys want to check all three set pieces and how much it costs. So Josh Jacobs goes for 20k. Elton Jenkins goes for about 23k, so that's about 43k. And DeAndre Baker goes for about 
30k so that's about 73k so once again keep that number in your head the set cost is 73k so right now Nick Bosa is selling for about 55,000 coins so it costs 73,000 coins to do the set and Nick Bosa is going for about 55,000 coins so 73,000 minus 55,000 is about 18,000 coins now this is when the method gets really good as you guys can see the difference is only 18,000 coins so now you guys want to see is it worth it for me to pay 18,000 coins for this 95 overall Ghost Man Pass player worst case scenario I could pull Marvin Harrison and I would gain 10,000 coin profit. So right now, worst case scenario, I could gain 10,000 coin profit if I pulled Marvin Harrison. So this method is really good right now. And I know this method sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple once you guys get the hang of it. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining it perfectly. If you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. But I hope you guys do understand me. So once you guys have figured out if a method is worth it or not, and once you guys have deemed it is worth it, then what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to the set that's profitable. So in this case, it's Nick Bosa. And then you guys want to buy all three set pieces. All right, so there we go. We just bought all three set pieces for about 73,000 coins. And then you guys put all of them into the set and you guys get this Nick Bosa Master Pack. So inside of this pack, you guys should get Nick Bosa, his power up, and three of the 93 overall Nats you guys put in back as Nats. Once again, with the Nats, you guys want to put them into the 95 overall Ghost of Madden Pass player. So we're going to put all three of them into the 95 overall Ghost of Madden Pass player. And you guys want to sell Nick Bosa and his power up. And once you guys back out of here, you guys should get the pack. So there we go, we got the 95 overall Ghost of Madden Pass player. So whoever I pull, I'm at least gaining five to 10,000 coin profit. Cause like I said, the difference was only 18,000 coin, which is a great difference. If the difference is ever below 20,000 coins, you know there's no way you're gonna pass through these coins. And we pull 95 Michael Strahan. And once again, a, not a really good pull, but still we definitely made, I think about 10 to 20K worth of profit. If you guys get lucky and pull like Bo Jackson or John Randall, you guys can make upwards of 30 to 50K profit. So those are the two best players to pull, Bo Jackson or John Randall. Uh, we didn't really get lucky here with Michael Strahan. So let's see how much he goes for. He goes for about 35,000. So remember, we spent about 73,000 coins. So Michael Strahan is, is about 35,000 and he goes for about 55,000. So that is about in total 90,000 coins. So we spent 73,000 coins and we got back 90,000 coins and plus another 2K. So we made about a 20K profit in just a few minutes. So easy as that, 20K profit. That's why you guys always wanna check on this method if it worked, because you know, easy 20K profit. If we pulled John Randall, we could've made like 70K worth of profit, but we didn't get that lucky. But that how that is how you guys do method number one. Once again, if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. So now let's talk about the second method. So the second method works more than the first method, but it doesn't work as well as the first method. So it kind of balances each other out. This method works more while the first method works better. So the method we'll be talking about is the 92 to 94 overall zero chill player. This method is very similar, almost identical to the first method. So once again, there are two ways to complete the set. One is by buying the 391 overalls to complete the set. And the second way is by doing a whole nother set to complete the set. So the other set that we'll be talking about is in the most feared set most feared master it's about Peyton Manny and Ray Lewis once again it works with both of these sets it usually works with Ray Lewis more than it does with Peyton Manny but still you guys want to check both of the sets so first we're going to check Peyton Manny to see if it works so once again you guys want to look up all set pieces so Travis Frederick is 17,000 coins Dom King Su is about 15,000 coins so it's about 32,000 coins Danzel Ward goes for about 17,000 coins, so that's about 50,000 coins. So you guys want to keep the set cost in your head. So in this case, it's 50,000 coins. Now you guys want to see how much Peyton Manny goes for. So it looks like Peyton Manny is currently selling for about 25,000 coins. Remember, it costs 50,000 coins to do the set and Peyton Manny goes for 25,000 coins. So once again, you guys want to do subtraction. So it costs 50,000 coins to do the set. So 50,000 minus how much Peyton Manny goes for. 50,000 minus 25,000 is 25,000 coins. So now you guys want to see, is it worth it for me to pay 25,000 coins for the 92 to 94 overall zero chill players? So these are the players you guys can pull in the 92 to 94 overall zero chill player set. So worst case scenario, I could pull this guy and lose 10,000 coins or I could pull some of these guys and make profit. So am I worth it? Am I, is it worth it to risk 10,000 coins? Or I could also pull a 94 overall and make a good amount of profit too. So 
I think I'm going to do it. So since the difference is 25,000 coins, I'm going to do it. If the difference is over 30,000 coins, I don't recommend you guys do it. But since the difference is 25,000 coins, I think I'm going to do it. So once again, if you guys have found out that the method is profitable, then you guys want to go and finish the set. So there we go, we just finished set for about 50,000 coins. Like I said, this method is practically identical to the first method. So then you guys want to put all three of the set pieces into the set. And once you guys finish set, you guys should get Peyton Manning, his power up, and all three of the 92 overall Nats get them back as Nats. And then you guys want to put the Nat players into the 92 to 94 overall Zero Chill player set. So bam, bam, and bam. And you guys want to sell Peyton Manning in his power up. So once you guys back out, you guys should get the pack. There we go. Hopefully we can pull Marcus Peter, Arik Armstead, or one of the 94 overall. So if you guys can pull one of those players, then you guys should be able to make profit. And we pull 94 overall Jason Kelsey. Let's go, boys. We probably made, I think, about 8 10k profit, which isn't much. But still, 8 to 10k in just a few minutes is still definitely worth it. So we spent about 50,000 coins. Let's see how many coins we made back. So... Jason Kelsey goes for about 30,000 coins. All right, so I was kind of hoping he was going for a little bit more. And Peyton Manny was going, is going, not was, but he is going for about 25,000 coins. So that's about 55,000 coins. So we made about a 5k profit, which isn't much. But like I said, if you guys get lucky with this method, then you guys can make a lot more coins. Uh, but yeah, at least we didn't lose coins. We made about a 5k profit, which isn't that bad. But now we're going to check the Ray Lewis set. So once again with the Ray Lewis set, you guys want to add up all the set pieces. So 32,000 for Earl Thomas, plus another 24,000 for him. So that's about 56,000. And then Tyler Lackett goes for about 22,000. So we'll just say that's about 80,000 coins. So now you guys want to check to see how much Ray Lewis goes for. So it looks like Ray Lewis is selling for about 60 to 65,000 coins and like I said it cost around 80,000 coins to do this set. So 80,000 coins minus 60 to 65,000 is about 15 to 20,000. So the difference is 15 to 20,000 coins, we'll just say 20,000 coins. So the difference is 20,000 coins. Now you guys want to check to see is it worth it for me to pay 20,000 coins for this 92 to 94 overall zero chill player. So if I pay 20,000 coins, worst case scenario I could lose about 5,000 coins. Best case scenario, I could pull, let's see, I could pull a recon set and make about 20k worth of profit. So yes, I do think it's worth it because worst case scenario, I'm only going to lose 5,000 coins. And if I get lucky and like pull one of these 94 overalls, I'm pretty sure Christian McCaffrey is going for a good amount, yeah. So the best player to pull is Christian McCaffrey. If you guys pull Christian McCaffrey, you guys are going to make a lot of profit. So hopefully we can pull Christian McCaffrey. So once again, once you guys have deemed if a set is worth it, then you guys want to complete the set. Alright, so there we go. We're about to finish set for about 80,000 coins. And then you guys should get Ray Lewis, his power up, and the 392 overalls you guys put in back as Nats. And you guys know the drill. Put the 92 overalls into the 92 to 94 overall zero chill player. And sell uh, Ray Lewis and his power up. So there we go. And then once you guys back out, you guys should get the pack. So hopefully we can pull Christian McCaffrey. He is the best player to pull because he just got a power up expansion Tuesday. So hopefully we can get Christian McCaffrey. And we pull 94 Christian McCaffrey. No freaking way. Let's freaking go, boys. Holy crap. We just pulled him. We just pulled Christian McCaffrey. So that is about to get us a good amount of profit. So we spent about 80,000 coins. Ray Lewis is about 60,000 coins. And then Christian McCaffrey is going for about, holy crap, 100,000 coins. We'll just say about 95,000 coins. So that is about, let's see, 60,000 plus 95,000 coins. That's about 155,000 coins. Holy crap, guys. 155,000 coins, which means we made about a 70,000 coin profit. We just made about a 70,000 coin profit with this Christian McCaffrey pull. So yeah, you guys saw it here. We made a 70,000 coin profit. If you guys get lucky, you guys can make that many coins yourself too. So we didn't get lucky the first couple of times, but you know, that's why you guys want to do every single set because one of these times you guys might get lucky and get upwards of, you know, 60 to 70K profit. So like I said, the first method is better and the second method works more. The second method can be really good if you guys pull Christian McCaffrey and the first method can be really good if you guys pull John Randall. Those are the two best players you guys can pull and both 
both of these methods. Like I said, this method is kind of complicated, so if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. I hope I explained it good, sorry if I didn't, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and press the bell, so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload, because I do upload a coin making method video every single day. Also, please do like and comment, because it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. Don't forget about Rookie Premiere, they do expire on Monday. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'm the Hand True Gamer, remember to look out there, heart, mind, social strength, and to love your neighbors as yourself. God bless, wash your hands, stay home, stay safe, peace!